Come on over. How you doing, Uncle Willie? Hey, Nipsey. Oh, it's good to see you. Say, I didn't see you since we tried to make a date with those two beautiful girls. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. How'd you make out? Solid, Jackson. Solid. Hey. How'd you make out? Stonewall, Jackson, Stonewall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nipsey, what's that? It really must be wonderful to stand up here and make people laugh. Yeah. To be a great comedian like that. Gee, I, I wish I had that knack, you know? Nothing to it, Uncle Willie. Oh. You could do it. Oh, no, no. We me. could we could do it. You and I? We can be a comedy team and we don't even need to rehearse. Oh, no. This I won't believe. I'll show you. Not with me, you know? Yeah, I'm... with you. All right. Right now, here, we can make them laugh. Prove it to me. All right, now, all you got to say is, that's good. That's good. Or that's bad. You mean to say we can make them laugh just saying that's good or that's bad? That's all you got to say. Whichever occurs to you, you just say that's good or that's bad. And we'll make them laugh. We'll make them laugh. Want to try? I, I'm ready. Here we go. All right. All right? Yeah. Uncle Willie? Yeah? I just got married. That's good. No, that's not good. I married an ugly old hag. <laughs> oh, that's bad. No, it's not so bad because she is rich. That's good. No, it's not so good because she's rich and she's mean. She won't give me any of the money. Oh, that's bad. Well, it's not so bad because she bought me a beautiful house. Yeah, that's good. No, it's not so good. The house burned down. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good because she was in it. Now she's gone. I'll get all the money. And that's good. Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. Man, Tan Morland. Nipsey Russell. Where have you been? What do you want to know? Where, where you don't want to... Where have you been? What do you want to know where I've been for? Boy, I was at home lying in my bed. Yeah. Thinking about the money that I owe you. Uh-huh. And I just couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep? No, I had to get up out of my bed to come over and find you and tell you <laughs> that I can't pay you. Now you fix it so I can't sleep. How come you can't pay me? The races. Oh, low down hound. Hound? What kind of races do you play? Horse races. What track you play at? I play over here. That track's crooked. <laughs> Why don't you play over here around? That's where I lost my money. Yeah. How much did you lose? I lost you about... You didn't have that much. No. No, all you had was... I had more than that. Yeah. I bet on a horse, and that rascal didn't come in. Was he that far behind? <laughs> yeah. Who was the jockey riding him? A jockey by the name... He can't ride. <laughs> no, I thought he went out here to ride for He Mr. did, but they fired him. He came home back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and do you know what he did? What? Let me tell you, boy, he... You should have had him arrested. <laughs> now, the horse you should have bet on was he number... He was scratched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, Dan, hmm? you don't look so good. No, I don't feel so good either. Oh, why, why don't you go away? Take a little, little trip for your health. Yeah, I think I'll go out here to... Uh... Don't go out there. They filled up. <laughs> I would suggest that you go over to... And get 10 years. <laughs> if you went, how would you go? Driving. Driving what? A uh, 1900 and... You'll never make it. Hey, look at here. Uh, what time is it? Well, now it's is almost... Is it that late? Yeah. I got to go over here and see... She's not at home. Well, where is she? I think she went down... I'll see her then. You take it easy. All right. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I like to talk to man, Dan. We always understand each other. But let me tell you... I did go to the racetrack. Went to the racetrack, I had a roll big enough to choke a horse. That's what I should have done, was choke that rascal instead of betting on him. <laughs> I bet $15 on a horse's nose, found out after the race I could have bought him for 10. <laughs> I didn't mind him getting left at the post. That could happen to any horse. But when he stopped in front of the grandstand and asked me, which way did they go? That's when I gave up. <laughs> and I thought I had a good horse. He left the post 20 to one. Came in at quarter after five. <laughs> the horse ran so slow that the jockey actually felt guilty. He felt guilty. When he got into the stretch, the jockey started giving the whip, you know. The horse stopped. Looked back at the jockey and said, man, what are you hitting me for? There's nobody behind us. <laughs> I left. Walked around to the little place where they were serving drinks. All of a sudden, a guy walks into the bar. He had his handkerchief up to his neck like this. He raps on the bar. The bartender comes over. Says, what can I do for you? The guy said, Bartender, do you want a drink? Bartender said, don't I know you? He said, where you been, over to the racetrack? He said, did you, did you win? You bet? You lose? How much you lose? Bartender said, two dollars. The bartender said, two thousand dollars? Bartender said, gee whiz, if I lost $2,000 on the races, my wife would cut my throat. <laughs> <laughs>